Hey you guys, it's me Kiana and as you can see I'm coming to you guys with no makeup on except for my brows and my lip gloss. I'm going to do another makeup tutorial for you guys and this is going to be the opposite of the one yesterday which was a smoky eye. This is going to be um, a sexy soft pink look and I'm going to show you guys how to create this using very little products, very little money, um, but yet it's going to be very 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 cute. Um, I'm going to show you the products that I'm using. First, I want to mention that you see my brows. I know they're not totally matching up, but as you all know, after I finish doing my eyeshadow and all that, then I go back and match up my eyebrows exactly. So that's why you're going to see them maybe being a little bit off. Um, I did use for my brows always and forever NYX uh, Eyebrow Cake Powder. Um, this is, you can find this in your local um, hair store or beauty store. Um, I also use for my lips my um, favorite, as you all know, NYX Girls um, Lip Gloss, and it's 03, which is pink. This is the business, you guys. You all know I'm going to use my concealer pad as my highlight, as well as my primer. Um, I'm going to go, since I'm doing pink, this is kind of like almost like a purplish, very, very light purple um, slash pink. And what I do is I try to match when I'm doing a color like lighter colors I try to match my concealer as closely as possible um, to the actual eyeshadow and as you know I use my concealer pad as my primers to make my eyeshadows pop and right now I'm going to use also the BH um, 120 palette cosmetic I'm going to use this you can get this from BH Cosmetics you can get one from Coastal Sense and you can even get the off-brand one that doesn't have a name from eBay because I have actually all of them and they all work the similar so it's, it's not a problem using it um, but you can use any shades of light pink or petal pink that you want as for me I'm going to be using this one I've had this for over a year you guys and you see how much is still there that is definitely one of the palettes that you may want to get for yourself as a um, Christmas treat because once you get it, you really don't have to get another palette. Now, we, of course, we do, but you don't have to. All right. And I'm going to, like I said, do a petal pink look. Before I start, um, these are some earrings I picked up at my local hair store. And these are $26.99. And these as well, I got to find the other one. These are $23.99. So. And I'll probably be wearing one of them. Make sure you tune in because I will be showing. And this bracelet actually goes perfect with it. But I'm giving this away in my contest that I'm going to be talking about today. Because it starts today. So make sure you tune in, you guys. Alright, so let's start the look. I'm using one brush. Um, I can either use this one or I can use this one. This is an elf brush. I'm going to use one brush but I'm going to show you how to do this look. I've already as you can see primed one of the eyes and I'm going to go into this pink right here between these three pinks if you can see it. We're going to go into those. Starting with the lightest on the inner V of the eye. And what you want to do is because you don't want, you want the product to be on the eye more than it is falling out and being wasted. So you want to pat and not rub. And many of you already know about makeup and how to apply it. I do a lot of this kind of stuff for people that really don't know, that have requested it for so, so long. So, that's why I'm, I'm talking, you know, that's why I'm going to be talking like I talk and, and giving the tips that I give. So.
what we're doing is we're going to apply that pink by patting it all over the entire lid it really does not take long you guys you'll see how quickly I'll do this now if I'm doing it quickly like this and I'm trying to do an instructional vid with talking and things like that you can imagine how quickly it can be done with just okay now we're going to apply the darker pink and the reason why I started with the lighter pink is because that's going to give me that's going to be able to, to give me a um, I'm sorry you guys one second that's going to be able to give me a transition that's going to be able to give me like basically I'll be able to control the amount that I use or the color I'll be able to control the color more okay and I know it's not showing up on the camera that well but once we put the black which I'm about to go into now. I'm going to take the cold black right here. Once I apply that black, it's going to pop more. And also, we can go into another pink and add more to it. What you're going to do is just turning your brush sideways. You're going to go on the outer V of your eye. Don't worry about it being perfect, you guys. We're going to create a perfect sharp point. And what you're going to do is you're going to fan inwardly. You're going to stop right here. And then turn it again. And then use it in another angle. And that's going to start cutting that crease a little more. Right above that, you're going to just fan it outwardly. like so. Now, what I'm going to do is just take my tissue and just roll it around into the brush around into my tissue. And the reason why this is because I don't want the crease to be really, really hard. So I'm getting the extra black shadow off of my brush and just using a little bit of already what's just by dragging it slightly. Okay, if you're seeing, we're dragging it from where it already is on the outer V. We're just dragging it towards the inner. And of course, you can drag it. The more you drag it, the the more you drag it, the more the darker it's going to get. I don't want that to be too, too dark because I'm not going for a hard, hard look. So what you're going to do is you're going to just go right above that and start dragging over and blending lightly a little of that color, that black color. You want to just start blending it over a little bit. And I say lightly because, again, I don't want it to be too dark. Anywhere you see a line that separates no color, and then the black color, if you understand what I'm saying, no color meaning I didn't have any color up here, and then the black, you're going to try to soften that line by just going back and forth like that, like I showed you guys in the yesterday's tutorial. That's just going to help with the blending, you guys. And that's going to soften the line. Because you don't want to have a line, a transitional line. You want it to blend into each step. Alright. Now, I'm going to soften that line right there. 
by going over it. Like so. And every time you see me putting my brush down, I am using the tissue, as you all know. I'm using the tissue. And getting the extra off of my brush. To create that point, you just saw what I did. That creates a sharp look. All right cleaning my brush off again because we're about to go into the brow bone color I'm going to use this this is like a really light beige just apply very little on my brush you don't need a lot and go directly underneath of your eye, your eyebrow this is your brow bone area. This is your highlight area. You're going to go right on across it, you guys. Like so. Turn your brush on the edge. Now, this is what when different brushes come into play, you guys. Because they have brushes for creases. They have brushes for your highlight. Angled brushes and all that. But if you know how to work a tool, just like any other tool, you don't have to always use it for what it's made for if you understand what I'm saying so it's just simply by turning I'm just getting a little bit y'all more it's just simply turning the brush and using it as another extension of my fingers and my hand that's why I I'm, you know it's okay for me to use one brush this is why I really don't have to use all the brushes I have because I have several of course I have several sets to be honest but I stick with one brush because I can work one brush if you don't know how and you want to be safe then you could get all of the other brushes but this is considered a eyeshadow brush it's labeled as such from elf and I use this as my go-to brush so I don't really need uh, the foundation brushes and stuff. In fact, I never use them because I don't really wear foundation. And what I'm doing is I'm just basically I'm spreading that highlight color and I'm working it on down. Going back and forth. Back and forth. The thing is, once you go down once you go all the way down the more you go down the more you're going to get into that black so one thank you baby once you go already down you can't go up so make sure that you go ahead and blend it out as much as possible before you go down further because once you go down you're going into that black and if you go back up you're going to be putting that black into your your highlight so work your way down slowly and if you need to go back just make sure that you clean that brush off because that black will go up and you don't want to have a highlight color as black it's contradictory to the fact it's a highlight right exactly now I'm gonna just blend that part out a little because I don't want to have just like I said the color of black and then the color of white it needs to be a fading like it is now and I'm just simply going to take the end like so now at this point you can go ahead if you want to add more of the pink which is you really can't see it that well but it is pink you guys um, you want to add more of the pink you can go ahead and add that on your waterline or you could do pink right here and then have it faded into the black or you can just do black and you also want to apply your lashes I, I 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of that pink. To my last line. Still using the same brush, you guys. And it's just a little extra something. It's not over overpowering. It's just a little extra something. But this is how I did it. Went from here to here. Okay. Now I'm just going to simply add my lashes. You don't have to add the lashes. You can add mascara. You don't have to add lashes as bold as I am adding. But I am going to add my lashes. Yeah. And as you all know, I take the end of my brush go into my hair glue apply a thin line of it a thin line what I'm going to do is blow And on my next video, you'll be able to see the entire look, of course. What I'm doing is making it tacky. You'll be able to see the entire look because I'm going to finish the other eye off camera because of time. You're just going to apply it to your lash line, ladies and gentlemen, if needed. And what I do is I press it, and then I take my lid and press that on top of the lash. And what that does is it gives the more appearance that it's growing out of your, your natural lash. That is it, you guys. And that's it. So you guys will be able to see the end results. That is in the next video. Yeah. And that is my pink look of the day with the mega dramatic lashes so on that note you guys I love you all so much make sure you tune into the next video it's going to be um, first of all a series that I want to start so I hope this is helpful to us as ladies and um, also the contest starts today and I'm going to give you all the information I'm so 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 looking forward to this you guys I love 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 the fact that we're doing this I'm so happy that I am able to do this for you guys as a thank you and um yeah the value of the uh, prize package is about $400 you guys and don't forget I'm also giving a package for my commenters as well so uh people that don't want to do videos or whatever but the big package is about 400 bucks. So, all right, you guys, I love you all so much. Make sure you tune in. Be blessed.